they only get their sort of knowledge of the uh, native tongue here at the Saturday or at the Saturday school? It's, well, we feel it's very much a parental responsibility. Or it's so something that's done well, in the home too. It's something so that we also have people who are mixed marriages in English coming and learning Ukrainian on a Friday yeah. evening now, and they're doing very well. Yeah. Um, the number of husbands who are English has come along with learning Ukrainian as a really? second language. So it's quite a compliment. So is it there is a Yes, it's a magic green. Oh yes, it's a magic green. You're very welcome to the song any time. And it's like all the time we just went to talk about very much so it's it's all the problem. Oh I'm sure I think you know please go to the that, 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 that's even more exciting. I'm sure. I thought it would be an, an additional draw if, for if, you. If, I want to say, if one got that, there's a bit of time. Well, we're actually serving some. There's some traditional food over there. there is some. I hope there's not an implication there that the vodka encourages the designs or the. No, it's purely medicinal. It's truly rheumatism. It's stress. Oh, you don't drink it, it absorbs through the skin. <laughs> You have That's to practice the other form of absorption first. <laughs> so you get this, you get the internals. Well, exactly. The customs do it. Exactly, yes. Oh, I look forward to that. I look forward to that. Yes, I think, I think Danny, 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 Sorry? Danny is trying to let you get a word in. All right, all right, all right then. Well, we 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 in your hands, you're yeah. the horse. Oh. 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 We saw it, we it. Yes, we're, we're, we're oh. going yeah. All right, well, just give it a shout. Yeah. 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 General idea is Danny kicks off. And I'll do I'll do a brief introduction and call them to order and say what the program is. Hand over to Danny, who will welcome on the half of the cast. Yes. <laughs> from the uh, Federation of Ukraine, so we'll then hand over to you. Uh, so yes, yes. Shall, shall we proceed or... Um... Yeah, no, let me get this right. It's Vladimir Denis. Yeah. Hello, Vladimir. Please to me. One of the things I'm not good at, I'm not even good at English names, like the long name, those other... Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm not going to tell you what Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Paul Olson, I'm the Arts Museum's and Libraries Officer, and it's my privilege to welcome you to the Central Library for this day of celebration of Ukrainian culture. I would like briefly to go through the program for the day before handing over to Councillor Mangum, who's Chair of Community and Leisure Services. On this floor, we have stalls and exhibitions and the egg painting. We also downstairs have an exhibition. To run through the events for the day, at 11.15, the, there is the choir in the meeting rooms up here. At 12 o'clock to 12.30, the Bandura players, again in these meeting rooms. At 1 o'clock to 1.30, there is a dancing group on the area immediately to the front of the main entrance of the library. There is again the choir at 2 o'clock. Um, some more presentation from the Bandera players at 2.30. And the last event of the day is at 3 o'clock, some more dancing at the front. Um, that is all I have to say. I would now like to hand over to Councillor Danny Mangum, who is Chair of Community <coughs> and Leisure Subcommittee, and thus Councillor responsible for libraries, museums, recreation, a whole raft of things. Councillor Mangum. Thank you all very much for coming. This is a thing which started at the libraries about four years ago and different groups of people originated in different countries. We have a week putting their culture on and I think it's a good idea. Uh, and in fact, uh, I'm putting my spoke in because uh, I come from the Irish background and I think it's time we had Irish here as well. Uh, I might be out or not. But, 
told me a lot of what's going on because I'm thinking I'll be living in a bit late. The only unfortunate thing about myself is that I'm having to leave at half past eleven to go to Keithley, then I have a vent to open at half past one at Saltaire. If I have a lot of luck, I might get back to see the last lot of dancing. I'm looking at the last bit of dance. Okay. Uh, we couldn't stand in a library, of course, without mentioning books, and, and we do have a collection of uh, books in Ukrainian uh, in, in, in the library, and uh, we, we think that's a good thing to do as well. I was fortunate enough to be at uh, last year in the festival, on the time that the Ukraine uh, got independence, at the Alhambra Theatre, when they had a big show from the... Uh, uh, dancers from the Ukraine, and that was a marvellous night. And I'm sure the people there will remember it a lot more than I do. Uh, one thing we've got to get plugs in all over, it's just like being on a chat show of this. Uh, I'd like to finish by mentioning that we uh, building English books to send to the UK. So if anybody has any books that's in decent condition, uh, and, and we will get some from the library. It doesn't say where they have to bring them though, so all I can say is see what is library. Any library. <laughs> you bring them down to any library. And, and I finally I've got to say that uh, not I'm to say finally I should say that uh, the events of this week couldn't have taken place without the active support of both the Association of the Ukrainians, Ukrainians and the Federation of Ukrainians. And I, I wish to thank them both for the efforts. And especially to thank Mrs. S Smirica, is it? Yes. Mrs. Di Queen? Di Queen? Di Queen? Thank you. I'm well Thank you. Mr. Popper then? I got that right. And Mr. <coughs> Demchuk. And my name's Mangum, so it's as bad as any of them. <laughs> Don't let that worry you. And uh, I'll now be passing over to Mr. Demchuk to. Uh, I'd just like to say a few, few words to say thank you to Councillor Mangan uh, for his kind words of welcome this morning. In particular, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Mr. Paul Lawson and all the staff of Bradford Central Library, Bradford Council, for all the efforts that they've done to bring about this week. And we shouldn't really be surprised that we've got this Ukrainian week. I know that uh, it's these ethnic weeks have been taken for the past two or three years, for the past three or four years now, but uh, our relationship with the library goes back a long time. And uh, we've had um, the Ukrainian Art Exhibition here. We've got the uh, Bradford Heritage Recording Unit, which has been uh, taking recordings of uh, interviews with, with, our, with our community over the past 10 years. And Tim Smith, the photographer whose exhibitions downstairs, he's been a regular visitor to our center. And uh, in fact, as you know, he went to Ukraine with uh, Robert Burks from the Heritage Unit to, um, to do some interviews over there. So this has been a long, ongoing thing and it's not just because Ukraine has also been independent so we're delighted with the independence uh, of Ukraine and uh, just only a few weeks ago um, the president of Ukraine visited um, this um, country so it's very appropriate that this week is falling in this time and uh, we're delighted that the library has also uh, bought a great selection of books it's going to continue buying some books and that will hopefully not only open our eyes people the second generation to find out more about our roots, about where our parents came from, but also to the people of Bradford, to other non-Ukrainian people, because if they want to understand what's happening in Eastern Europe, if they want to understand the, what's happening on the territories of the former Soviet Union, they need to know what's happening in Ukraine. So I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, been involved in bringing about this week, in particular to Robert Walters, Sally Williams, Jane Heap, and Susan Hall for all their tremendous efforts and the hard work that they've put into this week. And I hope you enjoy um, everything that you've seen today. Uh, another special thing as well, what's important is that the Ukrainian Association of Ukraine and the Federation of Ukrainians, they've got together. So that's been a special thing which the libraries have contributed to bringing about um, that kind of cooperation between our communities. So thank you, everybody, and I hope you have a very enjoyable day. I'd like to introduce uh, Councillor Bob Salmon, uh, Deputy Lord Mayor, who will do the official opening of the day. 
Welcome to the Association of Difficult to Pronounce Surnames. <laughs> Mine is just as bad as anybody else's. It's not often that one gets an opportunity to preside over what is an opening, but at the same time is essentially the closing of a week of festivities. It's an unusual situation, and I suppose that one should be feel honoured at being asked to do it, and indeed I do. I'm very pleased that so many people have taken an interest in the uh, week, in all the activities that have been going on, and I hope that the real celebration, which is the launch of the, if you like, the Im implementation of the book uh, collection to place on record for posterity the Ukrainian history and mark the contribution of the Ukrainian uh, people to the life of Bradford is a sign of the times to come. I think it's a very, very uh, deserving cause. I happen to believe that Bradford is a rich place because of the way in which we are able and fortunately able to be given the benefit of the other cultures. I think there is a value in obtaining the benefits and in a least lend of cultural exchange as well as living together. I happen to think it's very important for that, but I think indeed that, that sort of situation really expresses what Bradford is all about. A multicultural city of enormous dimensions and its warmth is representative of the warmth of all the peoples that make up the community at large. And everything about this exhibition, this week of festivities has been said. So I can do very little to add to it other than to be very pleased and very proud to be asked to perform this opening ceremony for today's festivity. A festivity which occasions choral recitals, bandura recitals, folk dancing, crafts, and I believe some uh, samples of Ukrainian cooking. If there's anything to measure up to the invitation that we've already received to visit the center and obtain the benefits or the medicinal benefits of the vodka taken internally or externally, then I think you've all got a treat coming to you. So without any further ado, can I say it is with very great pleasure that I declare this exhibition, today's activities, well and truly open. Thank you very much indeed.
folk instrument and later we'll have the the older girls we'll doing a couple of numbers and hopefully I'll try a couple of instrumentals so to start with we'll have young solo solo means village in Ukrainian the younger members of solo will do two numbers the first one called Tamu Sadochko or in the orchard Sadochku, 
certain songs entitled Son Sefria The sun is warm mean something like that.
This, uh, this spot here with an instrumental of uh, Cossack dance tunes called Kozatsky Tropak, which was actually collected by one Zinovich Tokalko in New York and died about 10 years ago.
Got you up. Bye. <laughs>